All right, guys, today we are back in the Reefs RC YouTube studio, and today we're going to be discussing our micro line of servos. We have the 99 micro, the 99 micro brass edition, and the 179 smart micro servo. We get asked quite frequently at events which servo is best for which application, what servo we'd put in where. Today I thought I'd go over some specifications for these actual servos and some possible applications on when I would use a servo versus when I would use a different servo. So stay tuned, let's deep dive these servos right now. Okay, so to go over the servos individually, first up we have our 99 micro servo. Right here, all of our specifications. So at 6.0 volts, you're getting a torque of 89 and a transit speed of 0.11. At 7.4 volts, you're getting torque of 99, hence the name micro 99, and you're getting a transit speed of 0.09. If you go up to 8.4 volts, you're getting 115 ounces of torque and a transit speed of 0.08. The micro 99 weighs 0 0.70 ounces. So next we have the 99 micro brass. But one of the biggest advantages here is you get this beautiful brass case and this awesome shine. All of the specifications for the two servos as far as speed and torque are exactly the same. The biggest advantage here is you're getting 1.27 ounces of weight. So ideally for any of your micro crawlers where you want unsprung front weight, this is a great option here. So what you'd want to do is go ahead and put that on the front axle. It's down low. It's furthest forward as you possibly have, and you're almost doubling your weight versus our 99 micro, and you're getting way more weight and way more torque than that stock servo. So if you're looking for a little more performance, great option for the front of your micro crawlers. Last but not least, we have our 179 smart micro servo. One of the greatest parts about this servo is it is one of our smart servos. So you can turn it from a servo to a servo winch with our ReefsRC programmer, which I'll have linked below if you're looking to pick one of those up. Also with the 179, at 6 volts, you're getting 135 ounces of torque, 0.09 speed. At 7.4 volts, you're getting 159 ounces of torque with a 0.07 transit speed. And at 8.4, you're getting the 179 ounces of torque at 0.06 transit speed. This servo also comes weighing in at 0.74. So if you have a heavier truck where you need a little more power than the 99 can offer, we have you right here. Or if you want your servo and servo winch to match in your micro builds, you can run a 179 Smart Micro and a 179 Smart Micro winch. Both options would run and then they would look identical. Okay, next I'm going to go through these servo applications and some ideas to get your minds thinking about what you can use them for or what I would recommend them for. If you have any questions on why I chose one versus another or any questions on I'd like to run the brass in this application, will it work? Make sure to drop a comment below. I like to reply to all the comments and get back to everybody as soon as I can. All right, so few applications where you can use our micro line of servos. One of the most obvious applications is the Micro crawler line. This is our SCX24. No, it doesn't look like much of an SCX24 anymore because they're a full comp build. But as you can see, we're running 99 micros front and rear here for a four wheel steer option. We also have our Reefs RC servo mount that mounts up perfectly in the stock location on the stock axle, but allows you to run our servo. And we're running our shorty horn that gives you perfect distance without hitting the tie rod and full throw back and forth. You can also use our servos in the TRXM application. This is our TRXM. We're running a 99 micro with the TRXM mount and our shorty micro horn right there. All plug and play, all available on our site. And for your 10 scale applications, as we all know, there are overdrive applications out there. There are two speed applications. There are dig applications. There's a million applications. And this is just one of those that I'd like to discuss. This is the Axial SCX10 Pro. And as you can see, we perfectly have our 99 micro in there. The Axial SCX10 Pro is designed specifically for our 99 micro. The horn in the box actually fits our servo, which is perfect. But if you don't want to run their horn, we have our variable horn right here. So the variable horn is a perfect application for all of your shifting needs. It mounts up to the splines on the 99 micro perfectly. And it also is a slotted horn, which allows for movement in the shifting linkage 
as the linkage goes through and you're not tied to one point. So your 10 threes that I have two speed and dig and your SCX 10 pros, several other options we have available for your micro needs. Obviously this one's running the brass servo. Some people are going to say that's ineffective because we're adding weight to the rear, but we went full brass out. So you can see we have the brass tubes, we have the brass knuckles, we have our 800 brass up front, and we have our 300 comp spec brass servo winch. So it was all brassed out, so it just made sense to run the brass there. All right, guys, so that is our micro servo line. We have the 99 micro, the 99 micro brass edition, and our 179, and that's a couple options of applications you can install it in. There's a million applications that we didn't discuss today because I didn't want to bring in 4,000 rigs. We just did a video installing our 179 Smart inside the Losi LMT Mini. I'll link that above. And you could run the 179 or the 99 Micro in a Losi Mini B with new servo mounting. There's a million options out there. If you have any questions on what you think we should run or what you should run or where to pick these up, they're obviously available on our website. If you're local to Southern California, you can pick up our full servo line at Mike's Hobbies in Lake Elsinore. Corona has Hobby Town Corona, and in the Ranch Cucamonga area, you can pick them up now at Pegasus Hobbies. So make sure to support your local hobby shop. If you haven't done so already, like and subscribe so I can keep my job. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notifications as soon as those videos are live. Thanks for the support, guys. We'll catch you on the next one.